So Brian, um, on the Focus Farm, can you just explain to me what's your stock policy now and what are you running? Yeah, stock policy, uh, we're, we're running 700 stags to velvet, 200 two year olds in that, about eight, eight to 900 hinds going to the wop cross stags and another four to 500 going to the to the reds, 1,500 hinds came to stag total. And, and plus finishing all of our wop cross, everything goes off to the works. Uh, just on, just less than 500 dairy grazers and about 500 sheep as well. I have um, snuck the deer numbers up a little bit more late, of late, especially since we've been wintering in, in pine trees and I've eased the cattle numbers back. We had a peak of 800, now they're down to more like 500. Just trying to take a little bit of pressure off some of our autumns. And the sheep have snuck their way back from sort of 1100 a couple of years to about 500 now. It's looking like a very nice season uh, setting up just at the moment. What, what's been going well just over the last little while? Just of late it's all been going reasonably well the the fawns growth rates are, are not quite what i would hope for i'm yeah. trying to do that one better velvet improvement is is been improving just nicely you know we can just slowly keep working at it but i think we uh we can do to improve our um our growth rates on our fawns more especially the wop cross any other things you'd like to improve we had a, a, a some people here from um environment waikato um talking about the environmental sides of things so what, what do you got planned there? yeah i've got small plans going on we've done some uh, fencing of waterways there's more still to be done it's sort of a bit of a long slow process so that's it's an ongoing also improving the um the uh, the water outlet from the uh, wintering in the trees that's actually quite a major one that one we just don't know exactly how to do it properly just yet but we're working on it so mike you're coming in from the outside you're the facilitator for the for the <coughs> focus farm project where do you see the potential for improvement on this place well, this farm's always been a, a highly productive farm and uh, it sits in the middle of the Focus Farm area. I mean, this is the Northern Region's Focus Farm group, which uh, has, has got a big catchment there from down in Tūrangi uh, at the bottom of Taupo right up to uh, Northland. Uh, the grass and grass growth is the strength of this area, and as you can see around at the moment. The performance on this property has uh, been widespread in the industry, known to be very good. Brian's known as a very good manager already but so like many in the industry um, he started from a velvet type base and uh, over a period of time has, has developed a much more diversified mix in his deer farming enterprise until now venison is probably about uh, two-thirds of, of the actual output of the operation but uh, just at the moment it's, it's uh, probably uh, only about 50% uh, of the um, value. Um, we're aiming to try and um, help to improve Brian's um, objectives of performance on this property for improving venison growth rate yields in, in his young stock, in particular the thermal Cylon. Um, we recognise that uh, his his hinds that he's uh, using for that purpose are a spin-off from the velveting herd, previous breeding system, and uh, and that we're, we're going to have to look at perhaps uh, adopting some newer genetics in that area to give us a, a little bit of a, a jump uh, on feed conversion efficiency through genetics. And uh, we've been very lucky with this year that it's been a very good grass growing year, and we've been able to prune out virtually all of the supplements from the system this year. And, uh, and, and have confidence that we've been able to feed this, all the stock fully on grass um, which, and monitor them regularly during the, that period a lot more regularly than it's done before. Certainly we're targeting that area in the post weaning period at this stage um, for some significant improvements of weight gain there and we've got a few ideas now on, on how we might go about that and we'll be, we'll be uh, with the, the help of the committee, we'll be uh, devising some projects that we can put forward to test our theories and, and trying to uh, establish higher growth rates in that area. Well, just to finish off, it's a big commitment going into a focus farm project, what do you really hope to get out of this? Oh, I, I enjoy th seeing things done well and, and learning from what other people are doing and to have what I would call a group of people coming together tossing ideas around as I'm into anything like that and I just hope to be able to you know sustainably or find options there that I haven't thought of that will either improve things I love improving things financially but obviously visually and and just making the whole farm run smoother 
environmentally as well as physically with the animals just is what I enjoy doing. Sounds a pretty good reason. Thanks both of you. Cheers. Pleasure.